Sand whips across sun-baked stone, whispering the secrets of a long-dead civilization. Millennia blur, pyramids pierce the sky, and tombs yawn open like silent screams. This is Egypt, the land of pharaohs and forgotten gods, where every grain of dust holds a story untold. Forget dusty museums and faded textbooks. We're about to crack the desert's vault, unearthing nine discoveries that rewrite history, bend reality, and send shivers down your spine. We will start with the discovery of the Valley of Golden Mummies. The story starts at the start of 1999. The renowned archaeologist Zahid Hawass and his team discovered the Valley of the Golden Mummies in the Bahareya Oasis in the Western Desert, 385 kilometers from Cairo. It was one of the most important historical finds of the 20th century, and it amazed people all over the world. A huge number of golden mummies were found, which led Hawass to believe that this valley, which is very bait and needs a lot of organized digging, is definitely full of mummies. In past seasons, only 250 mummies were found. The mummies discovered date back to the 1st and 2nd centuries ad, when the Romans ruled Egypt. Even though the old Egyptian religion had an impact on the elite views of the Greek and Roman societies, the bodies discovered demonstrate that the religion was still alive and well at this time. Most of the mummies that have been found have masks and bodies that are wrapped in gold and have religious pictures and ancient writing on them. Next, we will talk about the al of Kach. The Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities reported in May 2019 that 30 colored human wooden coffins for men, women, and children had been found in the al area. The coffins were in good shape and were part of a unique group. People found the coffins exactly the same way the Egyptians had left them, closed boxes with mummies inside, stacked on top of each other in a cache. There were 18 graves on the first floor and 12 on the second. Many foreign news sites have talked about the find as one of the biggest historical finds and the biggest in Egypt in the hundred years since it was made public. The next discovery on our list is Troy's Cemetery. In April 2019, Khoi's grave was found in the old Salkara Cemetery. Khoi was in charge of the royal palace in the late 5th dynasty. Because it is so important, American Archaeology magazine put a picture of the graveyard with its brightly colored walls on the cover of its January-February 2020 issue as one of the 10 most important archaeological finds of 2019. Dr. Muhammad Mujahid's Egyptian team, which was searching for the tomb south of Sakura, while taking scientific notes about the royal family of King Jedker Isezi from the 5th dynasty, discovered it. Now we'll discuss the sacred animal catch. In November 2019, the Supreme Council of Antiquities Secretary General Mostafa Waziri's Egyptian archaeological mission made a brand new discovery in the Sakura archaeological region. Khalid El Anani, Egypt's Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, told the press about the find. The mission was to work in the Cemetery of Animals. A huge collection of 75 statues of cats in different sizes and shapes, made of wood and bronze, was found. The collection also included 25 wooden boxes with hieroglyphics on the lids that held mummies of cats, wooden statues of different animals, such as the mongoose, the calf apis, small crocodiles with mummified crocodiles, and the god Anubis, kept inside, a large stone scarab and smaller ones made of wood and sandstone that showed scenes of gods. A unique wooden ibis statue and a group of statues of ancient Egyptian gods and goddesses are also on display. These include 73 bronze statues of the god Osiris, 6 wooden statues of the goddess Ptah-Soker, 11 fans and wood statues of the goddess Stekhmet, and a beautiful wooden statue of the goddess Neith. A stone plaque with the name of King Xantikai of the 26th dynasty is also part of the discovery. There is also a small wooden box with the remains of a gilded mask inside, as well as two wooden statues of women, one with a cobra's head on her shoulder and a wooden frieze that shows the life of a cobra. Another amazing discovery of 83 ancient tombs in Dekalia Governorate. During their work in the Umm al kalagan area of Dekalia Governorate in February 2020, the Egyptian archaeological team of the Supreme Council of Antiquities found 83 tombs. The head of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Mustafa Waziri, said that 80 of them are from the Puto culture, or Lower Egypt, which lived in the first half of the 4th millennium BC. They look like circular holes cut in the sandy island layer. Inside, people were buried squatting down, and furniture from the graves was found. According to Waziri, this is the first time that pottery sarcophagi from the time of Nakata II have been found in Dakalia province. This is because burials in pottery graves had not been seen before, except for one case that was found by the Polish mission at Tal El Farka. 
Next, we will talk about the discovery of King Tut's tomb. The tomb of Tutankhamun in Egypt's Valley of the Kings may be the most famous historical find ever. Howard Carter led a team that found the tomb in 1922. It was full of amazing treasures, including Tutankhamun's death mask, which is now almost an icon. Carter went inside the tomb on November 26, 1922. As one's eyes became accustomed to the glimmer of light, the interior of the chamber gradually loomed before one, with its strange and wonderful medley of extraordinary and beautiful objects heaped upon one another. He wrote in his diary as he tried to describe the amazing things he saw that day. He was only 13 years old when he died. Some people call him the Boy King. An examination of his remains shows that he had several health issues and required a cane to move around. During most of his rule, around 1332 BC to 1323 BC, he worked to bring back Egypt's traditional polytheistic faith. This was put on hold when his father, Pharaoh Akhenaten, started a change that stressed the importance of the sun disk Aten. When Tutankhamun's tomb was found, it caused a huge stir in the media, and there was a story that opening the tomb had set off a curse. Rosetta Stone is also among the greatest discoveries. The Rosetta Stone has an order from 196 BC that says King Ptolemy V, who was 13 years old at the time, has the right to rule Egypt. An assembly of priests made the decision. What makes the order on the Rosetta Stone unique is that it was written in three languages, Greek, Demotic, and Hieroglyphics. When the stone was found in 1799, only the Greek language was known. However, the fact that the Greek writing said the same thing in three different languages helped experts figure out what those languages were. This made it possible to read books written in Demotic and Hieroglyphic. The stone was found in 1799 by a group of scientists who were on a military mission led by Napoleon. The British took the stone, which is now in the British Museum. Egypt has asked Britain to give the stone back to Egypt. Next, we will discuss the Oxyrhynchus papyri. Archaeologists Bernard Grenfell and Arthur Hunt found more than 500,000 pieces of papyrus dating back about 1,800 years between 1896 and 1907. The pieces were discovered in the remains of Oxyrhynchus, a large old town in southern Egypt that did very well when the Roman Empire ruled Egypt. Because the town was dried, the papyri that the people used for writing have been around for almost 2,000 years. There are Christian stories, magic spells, and even a contract to set up a wrestling match among the papyri. The Egypt Exploration Society in the UK now owns many of the papyri. This group paid for the Grenfell and Hunt trips and keeps them at the University of Oxford. Since the pieces were found, scholars have been studying and interpreting the papyri. However, because there are so many texts, many of them have not yet been released. The last amazing find on our list is Pyramid Age Papyri. There was a port built on the Red Sea about 4,500 years ago, during the rule of King Khufu. Researchers under the direction of Pierre Tallet and Gregory Merward reported this in 2013. There are papyri that talk about how the Great Pyramid at Giza, the world's biggest pyramid, was built. According to ancient writings, the Nile River and a network of tunnels transported limestone from a mine in Tura to Giza to build the Great Pyramid's upper shell. They say that a boat trip from Tura to Giza took four days. Also, the papyri show how long Khufu ruled Egypt. They show that in his 27th year as king, a vizier named Ankhaf was in charge of building the pyramids. Did we miss any incredible discoveries from ancient Egypt? Share your thoughts and additional finds in the comments below. We love hearing from fellow history enthusiasts. If you enjoyed this journey through time, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.